All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about the absurdly large mega mansion in the state of Texas. I remember this. This is like a childhood memory. I used to search up abandoned mansions, and this was always the most ridiculous one. Originally built back in 2001. A lot of people don't know this about this mansion. There's two of them. So there's a smaller one, and there's a bigger one, and they're just built right next to each other on a bunch of undeveloped land. You can see by this nice aerial shot just how much bigger the one on the right is from the one on the left. And, I mean, just the way these mansions are designed, I, I just don't understand. If you're building, like, these are supposed to be houses. Why are they that long? I can understand if it's some type of, you know, you're going to put a bunch of businesses in it. It's a real estate practice. It's, you know, doctor's office, things like that. You want to make a building this way. But this is supposed to be a mansion. It needs to be wider. Not that long. It just looks like a massive industrial strip or something. And another curious thing, if you look at the smaller one on the left, they did finish the driveway. So they've got the driveway done. The one on the right, I don't know when this photo was taken. It was probably taken around 2013 or 2014. But the bigger one, the one on the right that has 46 bedrooms, they didn't even finish its driveway. And you can see this is an update from almost a year ago. A 46-bedroom Texas mansion that nobody wanted, sat abandoned for decades, and nearly got bought 20 times, finally has tenants, 63,000 feet near Houston. It's a suburb right outside of Houston, to be exact, and it sat vacant for 20 years. The story dates back to 2001, when a physician and his wife started building the 63,000 square foot mansion. The construction was stalled 80% of the way through. The interior was a complete shell. You can see it looks abandoned, some of these photos of it. And the reason the construction was stopped, kind of a curious thing, the owner who wanted to build this realized it was too big and the construction was just abandoned, but it was already 80% complete, the exterior pretty much fully done. So a new owner comes in 2007 and buys it for half a million dollars. And you think, you know, 2007, half a million dollars for, I don't know if he bought both of them or just the bigger mansion. It doesn't specify. A lot of people don't know that, you know, there's two, two of these mansions and they mimic each other. The one's just a lot bigger. But you would think that half a million dollars for this huge home is a steal. But guys, think of the property taxes. The new owner saying he had to pay around 100 k just in property taxes alone. It was unfinished. So if you actually wanted to buy this and, and move into it, you would have to finish it, furnish the entire thing, or at least furnish a wing of it. That would at least cost a million dollars in and of itself. And also the thing is just, like if somebody gave this to me, I would just immediately try and sell it because... You know, I love big homes. I, lo I love mansions. That's kind of like my indulgence. It's not cars. It it's not watches. It for me, it's mansions. I want a big home. But when I look at something like this, there's just no way. It just doesn't make sense. It looks like a hot dog. I, I mean, it it's not a home. Like the front of it, 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 it's weird. It's like they did the front of it like a McMansion and then it just keeps going and going and going and going and it looks like a banquet hall or something because it's so ridiculously long. The new owner tried to sell it for around $3.5 million. He couldn't get any takers and it sat abandoned for about a decade but in 2019, he changed his approach. Instead of selling it as a ridiculously oversized mansion, he rezoned the property for commercial use and remodeled the building, adding a bunch of parking spaces and finishing up the interior. And now you can see it is fully renovated. It has made a comeback. And to be honest, when you look at it, I mean, it renovated, I guess you can kind of say it looks like a house from the front of it, but not really because... When this thing was built, it just doesn't look like a mansion. It just looks like an oversized building that's meant to house a bunch of different, you know, practices like insurance companies. And apparently that's who's decided to move in and actually rent this space. A lot of his tenants are, you know, insurance companies, things like that. But we're going to look at some of these photos. So here you can see this is the interior of the massive abandoned mansion. Again, the exterior was fully done. The interior, they weren't even close to finishing it. This is a view of the massive 46-bedroom mansion from the smaller mansion. And you can just see how long 
it actually is. And it looks like on the far left, there's a little barn out there or something. Maybe a nice little shed. Uh, but there, this is like a weird... It looks like the like the entrance to some type of banquet hall or something, like food delivery area. You can see that right there. What a peculiar design when it comes to parking garages. There's just a bunch of single car garages lined up right next to each other. You can see what it looks like when it was abandoned. But this was supposed to be a mansion. I, I mean, you would have to move a bunch of people into this. And then you can see the renovated photos, the interior. It's funny enough, this is directly in front. So when you walk into the mansion, this is how the renovated area looks. It's got a staircase. It doesn't really look like a mansion, but you can see other renovated photos. And then I thought this was very strange. This is, this is a massive mansion. Understand the context of it. And this is the indoor pool room. The pool is just ridiculously small. Now, I'm not sure what they did with this room. I couldn't find an actual... You know what? They might have filled it in with concrete. Normally, that's what they do. They'll fill the in-ground indoor pools in with concrete in cases like that. And yeah, what an amazing uh, situation this turned out to be. Personally, I wish it would have sat abandoned. Imagine trying to visit a place like this. Look how beautiful it looks when it's abandoned. It's, it does look very nice. There's, a, there's an image of it abandoned where there's a storm rolling over top of it and the clouds are dark it's about seven o'clock at night in june in texas it's a beautiful image and you can just see all the windows you know imagine how dark it gets in there at night well i guess not anymore considering they did remodel it but it's just crazy that this massive structure i was trying to find video or like a photo of it during construction in 2001 that would have been amazing but there are no actual photos that i could find on the internet of this mansion or its smaller a twin brother, there's no photos of the construction, there's no photos in like 2003 when it was just built, but yeah, what a weird development this is, and then you've just got the massive land surrounding it on each property that is just completely undeveloped and abandoned, and there is no architecture going on it. 46, this is the total numbers, 46 bedrooms, 55 bathrooms, an elevator, see that's a thing with, uh, with, mansions elevators are they're completely meaningless in mansions elevators are meant for high-rise buildings there's no point in putting one in a mansion i never understood that i do like indoor pools indoor pools are really cool but elevators th this is like three floors tall folks what are we using an elevator for I, I know it's just to flex but it still just doesn't make any sense it also included a swimming pool a sauna and a nine car garage yeah this is the definition of a big mansion this this is the definition of just the building quality yeah just building a ma massive house seeing how big you can build a mansion i love this the problem is just the design of it you can't have it that elongated it's gonna look weird it's not gonna look like a house you want it to look like a house but dude it, it seems like the interior of this was just gonna be a complete shell I mean, for a mansion this big, the interior was so lacking. They just wanted to try and build the biggest house possible for as cheap as possible. <laughs> That's what it feels like. It's it's amazing. It's an amazing idea. Uh, and, and you could just see it randomly sitting empty. This, this behemoth of a house surrounded by nothing. But yeah, when I was younger, this was one of the mansions that would always just come up. And it's, it's just so outrageous. It's hilarious. And... You can take a look at some more of the interior photos they've got. This is actually during the cons the reconstruction or like the redo. You can see how they changed the bricking on the exterior of it. And then there's also interior photos of what it looks like. Pretty boring. I mean, they were just kind of shell rooms that they turned into offices and things like that. But in general, that is the story of the massive Texas mansion right outside of Houston, Texas, a suburb of Texas. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Make sure you're following me on X. Link to that's always in the description.